Deep in the southern part of Spain, there is a beautiful place known as Andalusia. In Andalusia, there's a province called Almeria. I'd like to think that it's the agricultural sector of Spain and it's home to hundreds of olive oil trees. And olive oil isn't just a condiment that you find in your cupboard, in your pantry. It's something that is so deeply ingrained into Spanish culture. Hi, I'm Natasha and I've been living and traveling abroad for the last six years. I've recently moved to the northern part of Spain. Today we're going to explore how you make olive oil. So subscribe and let's get exploring. It's getting branches to the face. So we are not professionals, but this is how you can make it. Right above you, there is a ton, baby. Should I just shake it? Shakey, yeah. shakey, 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 shakey. Let me move the thing out of there. Shakey, 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 shakey. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Try to make olive oil the year before, so you can see the video here. But we ran into some problems. So we're back a year later making the olive oil and spoiler alert it's actually successful well it's not much but it's not as worth <laughs> <laughs> so basically on a typical day you get some friends some family and you pick it together and the time just flies by it's really methodical <laughs> 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 Once we finished that, we carted the olives back to the little cortijo and so that's where the story really begins. So one of the reasons that the south of Spain is so ridden with olive oil trees is because of the climate. So it's usually pretty arid, pretty warm and lots of sun. So this is perfect for olive oil trees. So Alice had already prepared and washed all of these basket weave circles and these are essential for when you're pressing the olives. But first, what you have to do is clean the olives. Juan Pablo and Diego, they got the olives already nice in a soaky, warm bath. I'm not a fan of baths, but if you're, then you know how these olives are feeling. Bad joke, perhaps? I don't know. And anyways, once all of those have been washed, cleaned, they're ready to be put into the machine. Make sure it's the right posture. There we go. Crossfit. I think everything is ready. And our boss, Alice, she basically explained the ins and outs of the machine to me. What button wasn't working last time? Because you were telling me the safety was off or something? It was the safety here. One of them oh, no were way. not tightened. We're not really? tightened enough, so the security is like. <sighs> well, I mean, that's safety first, right? Yeah. Everything was good to go. She even put the food lube in. Okay, so this is um, some lubricant. Yeah. And it's, so it's called food lube. Because if you get any of this lubricant on the food, I mean, not the food, on, on, the, oil, on the, the olive oil or the paste, uh -huh. it's not going to be dangerous for you. Ah, I've never heard of that before. Let's just hope I don't get it everywhere. Okay. Oh, one shot. One shot wonder. <laughs> okay, so then it's going down this. Mm -hmm. So it goes over down to that. To this thing? Well, th that is the engine. Ah, okay. And, and the thing goes to lubricate this. Oh, wow. And then you just get started. So you've got one person behind the machine, that's Alice. And she's the one that's doing all the grinding and you've got one person dumping the olives into the machine. And there they go down and they start getting ground up and then they start getting massaged. 
So it's this lovely process that's basically beating the fruit, smashing everything up, including those leaves and those branches. And then you're gonna get this beautiful, succulent, purpley look to it because of the type of olives that they are. <laughs> That's crazy. Can you try? Can you taste that? Well, I don't know. Really? No, no. So right now they're making a fire. So you just put it underneath there to keep the oil coming out warmer, right? Or easier? Say again. Why are we warming up? Ah, it yeah. makes more oil. Now this is where it gets even more interesting from my point of view. So we had three people going. So we had one person who was scooping up. Be sure to scoop little. Better little than too much. Something like, like, I think two. You see this? Look at this. Okay. So you don't know what will happen. Imagine your face <laughs> is up between this and that. <laughs> that will be my face. Oh, your face will be right here. Okay, can I start? Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, and then I pass it to you. Won't be under again? No, right? Oh, that's a heaping spoonful. I don't know if that's gonna fly. That's a. Uh, okay, so medio. Should put your something hand like that, yeah, something like that. That's, that's great. So after you do that, you pass it to the person who spreads it. And then that person then passes the circular weave to the next person who puts it onto the hydraulics part. So you then want to have five different circular weaves with your olive paste on it and then you have to put a metal sheet in between. What is the metal for? Pressure. And this kind of helps get everything stable, everything compact because then the machine is going to come down and squish all of these discs. Ready it works? Oh boy, let me get Do I press it fast or slow? You press it and you'll start going down, but as it goes down, you have, go. to, coming down. You have to put it out slowly. It, it'll take a while. She likes coming down there. Come on, look out! Bella's also watching. Oi! 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 You make me nervous. Yeah, you like wow. Look out! It's coming down. That's all, Ali. You're hiding behind the door. Alright, yeah, I'm out of here. If the patrona says it's gonna be bad, I'm just gonna out of here. Oh my goodness. So when it goes all the way down, I have to take it back. It's gonna start going and going until the oil will start coming around here. It's gonna really squish it before it starts coming up. But when it starts coming out, if you see that it's sliding that out, you gotta <laughs> release it a little, then press it again. Can I actually release do that and then you film? Or you wanna do that? No, yeah, get in here. Ah! I'm in the splash zone. <laughs> you, want to, you want some glasses? So this is super cool to me. So the first time that we ran through it, I was really afraid that I was gonna get covered and splattered in all of guts, basically. But it didn't happen actually. And it takes about 10-15 minutes for the hydraulics to press all the way through. Then you have to ease up a little bit, press it again, squeeze as much oil out of it as you possibly can. You should see the oil. I don't know if you can tell. Look. Yeah, it's okay. If yeah, you can close, you can see yellow. With yellow. Oh, yeah, you're right. They're, they're all over. You can, can you tell? Yeah. 
They're shiny. That's really yeah. cool. Olive oil in the south as foreigners, right? Yes. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Don't try this at home. We're not professionals. Except for Alice. No, I'm not professional. <laughs> I take no responsibility for the outcome. <laughs> it's okay, it's just us eating it anyway. It'll be delicious. So yeah, you just scrape off all of the olive guts and then you can throw them into the compost. No problem. And then after that, you go at it again. Same process, we did a different rotation. We had different people watching different things, doing different things to kind of switch it up because we picked a lot of olives. I think we had four, four bags full. That's a lot. And so this actually was a full day project. I All right, so while Alice and Diego are putting on the second batch, basically, because we have so many olives from today's pick. <laughs> this is my pal. Hello, my pal. Um, this batch that have or, that has already been grinded down is just sitting here waiting. And basically what's happening is it's separating. So all of the oil is coming up to the top. And so Alice thinks that the heat will help it separate faster, but no matter what time will basically do its job and help separate it. I think it's incredible like that you have this kind of a process. Like it really makes me appreciate where these kind of things come from. So you cook with olive oil and olive oil is massive here in Spain and lots of other countries along the Mediterranean, right? And I think it's just very impressive that you can learn basically where olive oil comes from from the tree to the table it's yeah it's not difficult work but time consuming <laughs> after time has done its thing and the oil rises to the top it's pretty simple you can just scoop it out with a spoon or you can use a handy dandy contraption and just suck it out. What are those called? Siphons, and then you can siphon it out. After you've siphoned it out, you just put it in a jar, you can put it in a bottle, or they've got these beautiful little tins. So they actually designed these. Obviously this one is the fruits of our labor, so I haven't even tried it yet. So I'm gonna try it with you. Alrighty, so I've got some proper Spanish bread fresh from the bakery, just down the street. And then I've got the olive oil. I don't know how. Handy. So I wonder. Then it just. Wow. It smells exactly like olives. <laughs> so when you're. So that's the color of it. It looks exactly like the olive oil that you would see in your pantry. There it is. But that, and that right there, made with a loaf. I feel like it's like a little bit more olive-y. <gasps> more olive -y. Moment of truth. Mmm. Wow, it's got like, wow. It's so smooth and it's kind of got a smoky flavor to it. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. There you go, there you have it. So great success.
super delicious, totally worth all the time. A really great appreciation for where things come from. Mm -hmm. So give the video a like if you like olive oil, if you found something interesting that you didn't know before, if you learned something new, and hit the subscribe button because lots more is coming up. So thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys, bye. Grazie, grazie.